Hey everyone, welcome to another one of our videos. In today's video, we will be making Haitian bouillon. Now, if you're not familiar with Haitian bouillon, it's actually a soup and it is to be enjoyed mostly during the weekends. It is warm and fuzzy and it's also great to serve during the midweek as well. It's loaded with chunks of veggies and it's laced with bold flavors. So, let's get started. Okay guys, so to begin, you wanna start off with your meat. And for this, we are using the beef chuck tender roast cut. So we are going to clean it. You're going to remove all of the membranes and all the fat from it. As you can see, we're just using our knife to slightly cut the top layer off. And once you are done, you're going to cut it into cubes. Now, just be mindful that the meat will shrink as it cooks, so it's best that you cut them into big cubes. That way, when you prepare your soup, you'll have nice chunk meat in there. And guys, just because we are using meat, it doesn't mean that you cannot make this vegan. All you have to do is just remove the meat and the rest of the ingredients are pretty much vegan friendly. So after you cut your meat and wash your meat thoroughly, okay, we use vinegar to wash our meat. Um, we have a full step-by-step -step guide on our Haitian chicken stew recipe where we show you exactly how we wash our meat. Next, go ahead and marinate it with the Haitian apis. And you want your meat to marinate for a minimum of 30 minutes. It is best to do it overnight. This is all depending on your time. So go ahead and cut your carrots into bite-sized pieces and once you're done, go ahead, peel and cut your malanga into bite-sized pieces as well. Again, be sure to not make them too small because these ingredients also tend to fall apart and become too mushy when they cook too much, okay? So be sure to leave larger chunks. And also guys, we have the full recipe for this Haitian bouillon on our website at savorythoughts.com. Next, go ahead and peel your potatoes. And for this, we are using the reset potatoes. Once you're done peeling the potatoes, go ahead and also cut that into big chunks. Once you're done, set it aside. Now, I like to put them in a bowl of water, especially if I'm not going to use them right away. This helps keep the vegetables looking fresh and also help me clean the vegetables as well. So when I'm ready to use them, all I have to do is drain the water and rinse them. And now you'll be doing the same thing with your onions as well. The onions will definitely add a depth of flavor to the bouillon. Your Haitian bouillon will be hearty and that's exactly what you want. 
and we'll also add it in fresh green onions. Same process, go ahead and peel the top layer and then cut it into small pieces as well. Now when it comes to your parsley, you do not have to cut that into small chunks. Just go ahead and remove the stems and set it aside. We'll also use it in one shallot. This also helps to amplify the flavors as well. Sit that aside in a colander so you can wash it before you use it. And afterwards, we are preparing our spinach. Now you do want your spinach to be cut in, um, in small chunks, especially like we get our spinach from the, the Amish market, so they tend to be a little bit larger than the normal ones. So if you're using baby spinach, that's perfectly fine. You do not need to cut that up. But if you're using the larger pieces, then go ahead and cut that as well. Wash it and sit it aside because we will be using that later on. So to begin, you want a large stock pot filled with oil and for this we are using a half a cup of canola oil. And you're going to transfer your marinated meat. Now as you notice for this, all we did was just use the Haitian apis to season the meat. Transfer everything into the stock pot. Once the oil has heated, cover it and allow it to cook. Now you want to cover and cook your meat for about 30 minutes on medium high, but be sure to stir it occasionally because you do not want it to stick to the bottom of the pan. Now when the meat starts to stick to the bottom, completely sticks to the bottom and the liquid has reduced some. So then that's when you're going to deglaze it with about one cup of water. Cover it and continue cooking for 10 minutes and continue to stir it a couple times. Now you'll notice that the more water you add, the longer it cooks, the more brown it becomes, the richer it gets, the, the liquid gets. And that's exactly what you want. Check the meat for doneness. You do not want your meat to be too soft and at the same time you don't want it to be too tough. Once the meat is done, go ahead and remove that as well as the liquid. Now do not throw away the liquid because you will be using the liquid to finish off the Haitian bouillon. Okay? This is where all the richness will come in. Again, if you do not want to use meat in it and make it vegan, that's completely fine. Just skip this process and start by sauteing the vegetables and adding in your tomato paste, okay? This will also help give you that rich brown liquid that we are looking for when we are making the Haitian bouillon. So it is completely optional and you do not have to use beef for this as well. You can also make it with chicken. So you do have some options guys, okay? Now you should be sauteing the vegetables for just a few minutes. And guys, what I mean by the vegetables, we are including everything that we previously chopped minus the spinach. You should be sauteing it for about five minutes. And once you're done, go ahead and add in the meat, continue stirring to mix well. Okay. 
then pour in your water. So once you're done pouring the water, this is about 10 cups of water. We added 10 cups of water in. We're also adding in cloves and we're also adding in lemon juice. Now remember, Haitian recipes, Haitian cuisine always include some sort of acidic flavor. So this is where the lemon juice will come in. Be sure to taste it to make sure that it is seasoned properly. So you will be adding salt to taste. But for our recipe, we added about one tablespoon of salt. And just before the liquid starts to boil, this is when you add in the spinach. Once you add in the spinach, go ahead and stir it well, cover it, and allow that to cook on medium-low heat. Next, this is completely optional. We, this is the dumplings. Again, we have a full recipe on the dumplings at savorythoughts.com where I show you step by step on how to make these. So once you take the flour and you mix it with water, this is about one cup of all-purpose flour and half a cup of water. Once you mix it well, it should be semi-wet and semi-dry, so just in between. So you take a piece, you do not want it to be too big, and you roll it into a small log, and once you're done, go ahead and add it to the bouillon. And also guys, when you're making Haitian bouillon, depending on the cook's preference, you can also add in green plantains. Again, it all depends on you because it will change the texture. It will make your plantain softer, but it all depends on you. However, this is also another ingredient that you would find in Haitian bouillon. We did not add it here because AJ doesn't particularly care for plantains in his bouillon, so we did not add it in this. Just wanted you guys to know that this is an option as well. And guys, we would love for you to subscribe and join our community. We share Haitian recipes as well as food from around the world. We would love for you to cook with us. Okay, so please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on when we post new videos. Once you're done, go ahead, check the meat for doneness. Now it should be soft enough. When you bite into it, you should not have any problems. Once all of the ingredients are cooked and your Haitian bouillon is well seasoned, you're ready to serve. So to do so, simply serve your bouillon in a nice bowl and that's it. Guys, we have the full recipe on our website, savorythoughts.com, where we also included step-by-step -step photo guide to help you make this Haitian bouillon with ease. See you on the next video. Cheers.